watching Breakfast Central on News Central on a Wednesday morning. If you haven't followed, uh, followed us on social media, please go ahead and do that. It's at New Central TV and we are on all socials. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook. We're also streaming live, by the way, and Facebook as well as on YouTube. Now, one big question that's been lingering on the minds of Nigerians is this. Where is Abba Kiari? Well, the Nigerian government has revealed some of the actions it has taken under the radar regarding the allegations against uh, an indicted police officer, Abba Kiari, and suspected fraudster. Raymond Abbas, popularly known as Hush Poppy. According to the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, Mr. Babakar Malami, Nigeria is collaborating with the United States government to ensure that justice is served in the matter. Well, bringing us more updates on this, uh, we have News Central's uh, uh, Chief Researcher, Abdul Latif Ahmed, who joins us this morning. Good morning to you, Abdul Latif. Welcome to Breakfast Central. Now, Good the announcement by the morning, AGF... Yes, yes. Uh, the announcement by the AGF came uh, to some Nigerians as a shock, while uh, to others, it definitely wasn't. They were expecting something to have been said or done. Uh, what's your reaction to the statement, first of all? Thank you. My understanding of the statement from the Attorney General is that um, there has been a situation where uh, a collaboration between the United States and the Nigerian government to um, have um, Abakari uh, extradited, which is uh, to be expected because Nigeria has a working relationship with uh, countries across the world. And so when you have an established uh, treaty, an established uh, uh, understanding between these two countries, uh, you will be able to have um, certain, certain uh, provisions certain provisions uh, sorted between both countries as the case may be. However, a lot of Nigerians have expected all the while that um, pronouncements will have been made, especially considering the fact that the Nigerian government had uh, constituted panel to, a panel to investigate and report back to him, to, to uh, the government. We have not heard anything yet from the panel, and we expect that uh, so far Nigerians will be updated on the case because it's a case that has multiple uh, you know, dimensions. It has diplomatic dimension. It has legal dimensions, uh, as the case may be. Now, Kiari was suspended from the police and from his position as the head of intelligence response team by the Police Service Commission in August of last year. But let me describe Hush Puppy's case as one involving multiple jurisdictions. Can you explain to us what it means? By that? Okay, so you have a case of uh, money laundering uh, profiled against uh, Hush Puppy as the case may be, and then this is a case of collusion with the said uh, uh, criminals, uh, said, uh, criminal person who was being indicted and is about to be sentenced. Now, in this situation, uh, many laws will be playing out. So you're talking about the laws between Nigeria and uh, the point where uh, Hush Puppy was extradited. You're talking about the laws between Nigeria and the United States uh, that is requesting for uh, Abakari's uh, extradition. Now, why do we look at? Why does it uh, involve uh, multiple, uh, multiple uh, discipline, or we like call it multiple areas of focus? It is because of the dimension of such crime. In any case, you would have wondered if the accusation were from Nigerians, will this case be tackled? Will, will this case be um, uh, given the kind of um, attention it is being given? However, because it is involving uh, international, uh, it is an international dimension case. It's involving a lot of requests from across people who have been defrauded across uh, the world. Uh, it's, it's a given that it will involve um, countries that have signed relationship for um, extraditing uh, such persons that need to, to answer questions. All right, then. Mm. So we will see more to this story. It keeps developing. I mean, it was postponed from February to August now, and we are counting down to that. A lot of Nigerians are following this case closely. But thank you so much, Chief Researcher for News Central, Abdelatif Ahmed, for coming on the program. Thank you for having me.